Hey friends, before we know it, the hummingbirds are going to be coming back to our area. If you want to ensure that they visit your garden, stay tuned because I have the perfect plant to attract hummingbirds to your garden. Welcome to Gardening with Creekside. I am Jenny and today I am going to share with you one of my absolute favorite plants. And you're like, Jenny, what's so special about this plant? Well, this plant is a major hummingbird attractor plant. So in a few weeks, um, the hummingbirds are going to be coming back to our area. We are in North Carolina. We are a zone 7B. And so our time for the hummingbirds to come back is right around April 1st. And that is just right around the corner. And I want to be prepared to welcome our little hummers back to our home. So the best way to do that is to put hummingbird attractor plants in your yard. Today, I am going to be potting up a container using Proven Winners Vermillionaire Kufia. Y'all, I'm telling you, this plant, the hummingbirds cannot resist. I tell folks, if hummingbirds come to this plant while my children are playing in a pool and they do not care that there's three screaming kids by the pool, then it will come to your yard also. What's great about the Vermillionaire is that they've got these tubular shaped blooms that are a bright orange with a little bit of red and yellow in them. And the hummingbirds are really attracted to those bright colors. In fact, did you know that hummingbirds can see in color better than we can because they can see ultraviolet colors. And just to my human eye, these blooms are very bright, very colorful. So I can only imagine how the hummingbird sees them. So they see this, they come, and then because of the small tubular shape, their little beaks fit perfectly inside these blooms. Their tongues can go in and lap up all that sweet nectar that's in there. And it is such a small tubular bloom that other pollinators can't get in it. So it's kind of an exclusive plant for the hummingbird. The Vermillionaire will get to be about um, 18 to 28 inches tall, 12 to 24 inches wide, just depending on where you have it. So we're going to get started potting this up. And then as I'm potting up, I'm going to tell you all about this great plant. So we're using Proven Winners potting soil. And I just have a great ceramic pot that I found at a local store. Um, I love using these ceramic glaze pots because they hold the water really well. They're not as porous as terracotta. So I'm really filling it up here. I like to use brand new soil every time that I make a pot. Every season, I start with fresh soil, put it in there. You want to use a premium potting soil. Again, this is Proven Winners. I love the Proven Winners potting soil because it already has some slow release fertilizer in there. It is really high quality and it just it's just a great potting soil for your plants. They're going to succeed beautifully in here. So we fill it up about three fourths of the way full. Even though it's got some slow release fertilizer in there, I'm just gonna take it to the next level and add some more. So this is the Proven Winners slow release fertilizer. And we're going to put a couple of tablespoons in here because this is a pretty good sized pot. So we're about two and a half scoops of slow release fertilizer in there. This is going to give me six months of good food for these plants. So here we go. We're going to take the Vermillionaire and we're just going to pack it in here because we want our hummingbirds to be very happy and come back. Also, this I found this really interesting. If you've ever had hummingbirds in your yard, you know that they know where they're going. Like I've had hummingbirds come to our um, front porch where we have had um, feeders in the past and I haven't gotten them up yet. And the hummingbird is just like flying there saying like, hello, Jenny, where's the food? Why aren't you, why, don't, why do you not have it out? So hummingbirds actually have, it's really neat, a brain the size of a pea. Well, you know, hummingbirds are not that big. So in proportion to their body, it's pretty large for their whole 
body and they have great memory. So they know exactly where your feeders are. They know where the plants are. They remember, hey, I went to this Vermillionaire yesterday and I got a really good meal. So I am gonna come back again today and eat again. So I've got Vermillionaire in there. Now you could do a pot of just Vermillionaire. That would be gorgeous because as you can tell, Vermillionaire shoots off a lot of stems. It's very free flowing. It's not a, um, it's not a spiller. It is definitely a filler or a thriller. It goes straight up. You have the blooms that come straight down. The stems is great, but I want to add a little pop of color to the front of it. So I'm going to use another one of my favorites, Proven Winners Lemon Coral Sedum. And if you're not familiar with Lemon Coral Sedum, well, let me introduce you to this beauty because it was actually the annual of the year last year. It can technically be a perennial for us in zone 7B. It's a perennial in zones 7 through 11, I believe. And it really does great in both the landscape and in containers. And here it'll act as my spiller because it will go over the pot, bring in a, just a nice pop of color. Both of these plants are drought tolerant so you're not gonna have to be out there watering continuously. This guy's in here. We're gonna give it a little zhuzh, zhuzh. Here we go, got it. Um, so you're not gonna have to be out there watering it continuously. They're drought tolerant. The lemon coral sedum is not gonna be a bloomer. You're using it just for the foliage. But I mean, look at that color. You've got the great dark foliage of the Vermillionaire, with those bright orange blooms. Then that lemon lime color of the lemon coral sedum is just so pretty. So we're gonna add, we're just gonna top off, fill in any little holes with some more potting soil. Another thing about Vermillionaire that is absolutely fantastic is you do not have to deadhead. Not only do you not have to deadhead, you really don't even have to prune these guys. They will just, I'm making a hot mess over here, that's all right gardening um, they will just bloom continuously you don't have to deadhead you don't have to pinch them back if you want a tighter plant you can trim them back a little bit I do not I like the free form of the plant I like to see that it's kind of wild and free and spiky everywhere the hummingbirds definitely love it so you just want to kind of leave it alone let the hummingbirds do their thing and they're just going to come continuously all the time and feed off of this gorgeous Vermillionaire. Now, one more little trick that I wanna show you that I do with all of my containers is really important. So I always finish off my containers with a nice layer of mulch. Even though you're not gonna see the mulch in the container, this really helps to regulate the soil temperature of the pot. It keeps the roots um, at a nice even temperature throughout the summer so in the heat of the summer it helps keep them cool when we have cool spring days it keeps it warm of course mulch will help retain all of that good water and moisture that's in your container so you're not going to have to water it as much so wherever there's a little open area and you can see soil go ahead and take some mulch and just tuck it in there it really makes a massive difference to your containers when you do have little holes that you can see, then it just makes it look prettier. Now, for maintenance on this, this will bloom, Vermillionaire is going to bloom all season long from spring until hard frost. It is a continuous bloomer. It just puts them on, puts them on. You are not gonna have to maintain this at all other than you're gonna have to water it and about every one to two weeks, you're gonna wanna use a really high quality liquid soluble fertilizer. So I, again, love the Proven Winners water-soluble fertilizer. It will tell you on the container how much you're gonna use for a container size this, how much you're gonna dilute it into your watering can. Again, every one to two weeks that you're going to want, every one to two weeks you're going to want to fertilize your container. It gives you that nice dark green foliage on your Vermillionaire lots of blooms so if you start to see that your plant is not looking as healthy your slow release fertilizer could be running out so then you want to start on your um, liquid fertilizer and make sure you do that every one to two weeks just set it on your phone it'll tell you to do it but 
Again, if you're looking to attract hummingbirds to your yard, you have to get Vermillion Air. We own Creekside Nursery in Dallas, North Carolina. We always stock Vermillion Air. It is one of our number one plant sellers for our customers. They love it. If they cannot remember the name of it, they'll just go, the hummingbird plant. Do you have the hummingbird plant? Yes, we do. But if you're not able to come visit Creekside, if you will just go to provenwinners.com, they have a place where you can put your zip code in and you can find a local retailer near you. Give them a call and ask them if they are going to carry Vermillion Air. And if not, it's still early enough in the season that they can actually bring it into their nursery so that you can have access to this plant. Because I'm telling you, if you're looking to bring hummingbirds into your yard, you have to have Vermillion Air. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and we appreciate you gardening with Creekside. See you later guys. Bye. Thank you.